Hello everybody, my name is Avery and today we're going to be looking at this neat little tool that I found on GitHub. It's called AI Shell. And AI Shell, it's using ChatGPT, um, it's using the OpenAI API to be able to type in regular text in your terminal and have it run shell commands basically. Um, we can look at an actual example of that. We're in ChatGPT right here and we can say, which is actually just run a shell command and it's probably not going to work correctly. Um, okay, it worked this time. Um, I actually tested it earlier, and uh, it didn't work exactly. Um, but that's because, you know, it's not actually running the command. But So you can see it ran a command, but instead of just giving it a command, let's say we wanted to do something. Um, so in bash print hello world. Um, so it's just going to generate um, how you do that in bash. Um, as you can see, it did that like there. And I'll make a directory. So let's tell it to make a directory and let's see what it does. Um, so basically AI shell, it's using the OpenAI API to interact with chat GPT to be able to do the same thing. As you can see, use bash to do it. Um, we're not gonna drop into the code and look how the API works or anything like that. We're just gonna play around with the actual project. Um, down here, there's an install instructions, but we're just gonna go ahead and clone the repository. And there's this install script. We can look at it. It's pretty simple. It's going to ask for your password, but that's only because it wants to move the project into your bin. Um, so it can be accessed anywhere. Um, that's fine by me for now. So we'll just do install. Actually, to go into the directory. And we'll install it. It'll take a second. It's just, I think it's getting some prereqs and moving some stuff around. As you can see, it's already finished. It's just moving the file. And now if we do AI shell, oh, let me, uh, oh, let's check, what's it called? It's lowercase, AI shell. Um, it actually needs a prompt. Yeah, it's gonna say a missing argument. Um, so it's as simple as that. Now let's give it the same prompt that we gave it here. Make a directory. And it's going to go ahead and, okay. So here's another issue. Um, the open API, uh, I think it's probably not even completely free, but you need an API key. Um, so to do that, you just need to make an account. You can assign in the Gmail if you don't want to make your own personal account. And I'll go ahead and jump in here. I had these keys. I don't think he, so I think I'm just going to click create new key. Um, I'll go ahead and delete this later. I don't care if you guys see it. Um, I'm going to copy it and make sure you save this because I think once it's you click OK, I think it's gone. Uh, yeah, you won't be able to view again. Um, so yeah, just copy it. Just click there and save it to a file or something. And in here, so let's go ahead and let's back out of here and let's check it out. It needs to be saved to this environment variable. So I'll go ahead and let's just paste that right there so I can see it. So there's a few ways you can save something to an environment variable. Let's go ahead and paste that right here. Echo. Now let's go and copy and paste this. Just save some time. So there it's in the environment. If you go ahead in here, so this is just in case you're not familiar. Um, it's not there. Uh, it's not set in this terminal. So let's go ahead. And actually, let's bring that back. Um, let's go ahead and run it now. And I'm just going to go through and show you some examples. Um, just to make a directory. And I believe it's still not going to work. So what we can do is right here, AI shell, make a directory. And there it's going to actually have your variable. Um, it's going to be exported correctly. Um, let's try it this way. Uh, let's try export like that. And okay, now let's do that again. So as you can see, it worked. Um, it created these directories. Um, let's just say remove directory um, directory na. Um, so yeah, it's not really super efficient um, for some things because I mean you can, you know, just rf and then uh, like that. You can just delete it. Um, that was way easier to type out. But you can imagine some things are a little bit more complicated. And you can also imagine now that you have this way to do things with words you can set up voice commands you can go ahead and just talk to it and it can do things um, once again though if we check in here 
it's not in there. Um, so there's a few ways we can do that. We can probably some set like an environment variable. Uh, we're not going to do it that way. Um, we're going to jump into our. So this might be different now it is in a computer. Maybe it's bash underscore profile. Make sure you put a dot. It's in your home directory. Um, so for me, that's, you know, nano home Avery dot bash. And for me, it's going to bash RC. What's a uh, oops jump down here and let me actually just copy this line. Let's uh, just open a new terminal just in case and print this out. Okay, as you can see, it worked. Um, AI shell go to downloads. Um, so it's it's not extremely smart. Um, okay, it worked this time. There's some things that it's not going to work always. There's some things it can do. Um, I wish to try a little bit more complex thing. Um, print out every odd number between 0 and 100. So I assume it's going to take a second. We can actually go ahead and compare this. So in shell, print out every odd number between 0 and 100. Um, let's see, right here. So executed. OK, um, so I had an error. It actually did give the code. So we can go ahead and check this code. Um, the code worked for whatever reason. Uh, the syntax error in the file back quote substitution. Um, I'm not sure what that's about. Um, you can see right here. They did the same thing. Of course, this one had the line break, and this one did not. Um, but yeah, it's as simple as that. It's kind of a cool project that I wanted to showcase. Go ahead and just check it out on this GitHub and just sign up at OpenAPI to get your key. And just make sure your key is exported correctly so you can use it. I think it's something cool to play around with. There's these videos that also show some stuff that it can do. Um, create a three non-empty sample markdown, uh, blah, blah, blah. That's... It's cool, I guess. Um, or it is cool, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to showcase this to you guys. And what do you guys think? Um, is this coming for anyone's jobs? I highly doubt it um, at the moment. I mean, it's pretty interesting. Uh, it's pretty cool. I guess this can help people that aren't familiar with how to do stuff. But it's even now this is a little bit more complex to, to write out, maybe. Maybe you can say it's easier. Maybe not. There's also, I know there's like syntaxes, even for some languages, where you can just write out something like this. Um, I can't remember the exact name of that language that's similar. But, but yeah, it's still pretty cool to look at, so go ahead and check it out. And thanks again for watching, and see you guys again next time. Bye.